orbital transfers. As you know, the faster you go, the higher your orbit gets. If you get moving fast enough, your orbit may cross the orbit of some other object, like a moon or a planet. The closest celestial body to Kerbin is the Mun. If you're looking for somewhere else to fly a rocket, the Mun is a good choice. The real trick to getting there is timing your departure so that the Mun captures your vehicle at its highest point. If you mistime your departure, you may miss the Mun entirely, which creates a lot of paperwork. Let's assume you've left at the right time and the Mun is there to meet you. As your vessel approaches the Mun, it enters a zone in which the Mun's gravitational influence on your orbit is stronger than Kerbin's. This zone is called the Mun's Sphere of Influence. You've had to go very quickly to escape Kerbin's gravity, much too fast for the Mun's low gravity to capture you. If you don't slow down, your vehicle will speed past the Mun and be flung farther into space. Remember what I said about paperwork? Once you're in the Mun's gravity well, the best way to slow down is to fire your engines backwards until your trajectory becomes a nice, stable orbit. Now you're a moon of the Mun!